。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是英语口语训练一。Hi everybody! Welcome again to Conversational English, Book One. We are going to finish Unit Five today with Lesson Fifteen, Another Family Tradition. 好，所以各位同学，我们今天这一课呢，要来谈到又一个家庭传统是什么呢？今天我们来会学到很多准备食物，还有烹饪的一些相关用语哟、哦。Lesson fifteen is about my favorite subject, food, and how to cook it. We'll be seeing Becky and Betty in the kitchen today, preparing a really good meal. 嗯，而且呢，这个今天这个煮东西、食物这个主题是布鲁斯老师的最爱，所以我们赶快来看看这家人今天呢要一起来准备他们的晚餐。I'm hungry. You are always hungry. We can make dinner here or go out to eat. Honestly, I'm too tired to freshen up, dress up, and go out to eat. <laughs> We could always just send Dad to bring back some takeout food. Yuck! We've been eating too much takeout food recently. Is there any food in the fridge? Hmm. Uh, we've got some beef. Mm-hmm. Oh, potatoes and carrots, and there's some onions too. Sounds like all the ingredients we need to make a stew. Great idea.、Um, do you have a recipe for stew, Mom? Huh? I don't need one. I've been making stew for centuries. Since Grandma taught me. Oh, goody! Another family tradition. Hmm. Sounds like Becky is going to give me a hand with dinner, and how about you, Ed?、Um, I'll help out with the cleaning up after dinner. I can't even boil water. That's true. Well, Becky, let's get at it. Hey Becky, these are all the ingredients we need for our stew. I cut the beef into cubes and diced the potatoes and onions. I cut the carrots into slices. It looks really good, Mom. I put the pot on the stove and it's ready to boil. Oh, I hope you remember the salt and pepper. Of course. Do I just dump all the ingredients in? Ah,、uh, we could, but it's better we just lightly fry the beef first. Get a spatula. And frying pan ready, and add some oil to it. Okay, you got it. I'm going to put the vegetables in now, Becky. And make sure you put the flame on low when making stew. Um, it's only five o'clock. And one hour of stewing will be enough to cook everything. I'll stir the pot every now and then, so nothing burns. 
In the meantime, why don't you make us some garlic bread? You can use the toaster oven. You are really good at making garlic bread. Thanks, Mom. I hope one day to be as good a cook as you. Every time we show cooking, I feel hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're hungry to <clears throat> take a look at our vocabulary, and we'll do that after a short break. We'll take a look at our vocabulary, and we'll do that after a short break. Welcome back. Now we're ready for part three: words and phrases. We're now going to go to the third part of the vocabulary and phrases. Honestly. 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 I honestly don't know where all my money goes. 我实在是不知道我的钱都花到哪儿去了。Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. How do you like my soup? Yuck! You put too much salt in it. 你喜欢我煮的汤吗？呃，你放太多盐了。Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Would you like to see a movie tonight or go for a walk? Hmm. Let's take a walk and then watch a movie. 你今晚想要看电影呢，还是去散散步？嗯，我觉得先散步，然后再去看电影。We have a couple extra points here for you. The first is the term. Interjection. Now we have discussed this before. That's why sounds like hmm or yeah, those sounds do have meaning. Quite different in this case. Ugh, yuck is how we write it. Means that it's very distasteful. You really don't like something at all. Whereas hmm is giving yourself time to think about something. 嗯，所以呢，这边我们再次的遇到了这个英文中很重要的感叹词。那么虽然它只是一些声音，可是呢，它都有代表的意思。那像今天我们在这一课里目前学到的两个，一个是表示呃，就是这个不喜欢的味道，以及呢，另外一个呢，就是嗯，在想事情这样子的一个感觉，都很有用。赶快记下来。And the second point, I have to confess, if you remember last week, we talked about practice makes perfect. Well, I haven't practiced my English enough because it's not perfect. We have a mistake in our textbook for number three. Hmm. The B says hmm. In your book, it says let's talk a walk. Of course, it's not right. It should be let's take a walk. And I didn't find this mistake. Our director did. <laughs> OK， 所以这里的话呢，这个 Bruce 老师提醒大家说，我们在这个第三个单词这个 hmm 里面的例句呢，那应该是 take a walk 散步，而不是 talk a walk。那么刚刚 Bruce 老师在讲，就是说其实人没有完美的。你看，现在就有一个很好的例子啦，因为发现这个错误的竟然不是老师，而是我们的导播。So your conclusion is. Nobody is perfect. 嗯，这个就是上次讲的熟能生巧的这个片语哦。没有人是完美的，但是我们只要 practice 一直练习，就可以 improvement 越来越好。这个才是那个 spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead to number four. Onion. Onion. 洋葱 Many people cry when they cut up onions. 很多人在切洋葱的时候会流眼泪。I'd like to say just one little thing here about not just the word onion, but about English in general. The first time you look at a word like o n i o n, you might say, "Oh, onion," or "onion," or something like that, and then you're surprised to find out that the sound is quite different from the spelling. But that's one of the problems we have with the English language. 
it's not written exactly by the sounds that we speak. So the O-N is un. I-O-N is yun. Onion. Hmm. 好，所以像这样子的洋葱的这种字呢，其实确实同学们一开始看到会一下子不知道怎么发，然后可能会发出像刚刚 Bruce 老师呃讲的这种很自然的反应，比如说 O N I O N， 你如果这样子去拆就变成 On I On， which is really I mean <笑>、yeah. It's reasonable. Logical. 对对 ，logical. 好，那么但是呢，这个布鲁斯老师有讲到说，其实英文字里面有很多可能它拼是尽量照他们发音的，不过有的时候还是会有一点小小的差别。那么在这个字里面，我们请布鲁斯老师再帮我们发一次。Okay. Onion. 复数 onions. Okay. Thank you. 好，就是这样。Right. Let's go on now. Number five. Ingredient. Ingredient. 食材 The ingredients for baking a cake are few and simple, like flour, eggs, milk, and salt. 烤蛋糕的食材呢不多，而且很简单，像是面粉、蛋、牛奶和盐 Very often, when we hear the word ingredients, we think about cooking all the different kinds of food we need to make a dish. But ingredients can be used for other things as well. Uh, medicine. If you go to the drugstore and buy medicine and look at the bottle or the box, it might say the word ingredients to tell you what's inside this medicine. Or sometimes we use it completely differently. Um, for example, the ingredients for success are hard work, a little bit of luck, and perseverance. 嗯，好，所以这里呢，我们这个食材这个字 ingredients 呢，其实还可以当成很多东西的材料。那么刚刚不少是帮我们举了两个例子，比如说呢，第一个是同学们，你有时候看到药的罐子，或者我们有时候吃一些维他命啊，或者是一些那个营养品的罐子上，可能都会写着这个 ingredient， 就是它的成分，这是第一个。那另外有一种比较衍生的用法，就变成说 the ingredient。For uh, ingredients for success, 这时候就变成成功的材料。那当然就不是意这个意思，是成功的要件啊。比如说刚刚呢，布鲁斯老师就讲了啊，第一个要努力，第二个要有一点点的好运，以及第三呢是一个很好的字，就是坚持啊。这个字我们再念一次好吗 ？Sure. Perseverance, perseverance from the verb persevere. 嗯，就是持之以恒的意思。Okay. Let's go ahead. Stew, stew. 炖肉 During the winter months, nothing tastes better than homemade stew. 在冬天的时候，没有什么食物能够比得上家常炖肉更好吃了 Recipe, recipe. 食谱 my mother's recipe for apple pie is a family secret, so I'm sorry I can't tell you the ingredients. 我妈妈的苹果派食谱呢是家传秘方，所以呃很抱歉我无法无法告诉你这个食材哦。This word recipe, like onion, the first time I saw this word, maybe I don't know, junior high school. Yeah, I said recipe. Because that's how it would normally be pronounced. But in English, don't let that bother you. English is a language that is based on letters and sounds, but it doesn't always work. 嗯，好，所以呢，这刚好又是另外一个字，就是 Bruce 老师说，连他自己小学的时候第一次学到这个字，他看到的时候，他发的音呢，就叫这个完全不是正确的发音哦，而是照着说这个 R E C I P E 通常会怎么发啊？就是刚刚说的是。<laughs> it should be recipe, but it's recipe. 对，那所以呢，英文里面有一些字它是这样哦，它没有照着它应该的发音规则，而它另外有一个发音。但是这个布鲁斯老师讲的就是 don't let this bother you。你不用为了这个东西困扰，因为反正这种东西就是你遇到一个学到一个就 OK 了。那这种这种不用太挫折 ，OK? All right, let's go ahead now. Number eight, century. Century. The two world wars both occurred during the last century. 
两次的世界大战都发生在上一个世纪。Glare, glare. 邓氏。Ned said something mean to Patricia, and she glared at him a long time. 麦德对派翠西亚说了不好听的话，所以呢，他瞪了他很久。Boil, boil. 煮沸 Don't put the noodles into the water until the water starts to boil. 在水煮沸之前，不要把面条放进水里 Cube, cube. 块状 Use this short knife to cube the tofu before placing the cubes onto the plate. 在把豆腐放到盘子上之前呢，先用这把短刀把它切成块状。Dice, dice. 把切成小块。Many Chinese recipes require you to dice meat or vegetables. Into very small cubes before cooking. 很多中国菜的食谱会要求你在煮东西之前把肉或蔬菜切成小块。I'd better、uh, tell you a couple more things about this word. You may be confused. What's the difference between cube and dice? It's really the same thing, but when you're finished, cubes are larger, and diced food is is very, very, very small. The other point is, dice can also refer to gambling with those little cubes that have numbers on them or holes in them or things painted on them, and it's a form of gambling. Same word, dice. Wow, you look very professional throwing the dice. <coughs> Uh, someone taught me well. Okay, 所以呢，刚刚这个呃补充一下哦，就是 Bruce 老师这边讲到的说呢，这个 cube 跟 dice 两个字呢，这个其实差不多的意思，只是呢，在切成块状之后呢， cube 比较大。其实，在中文里面我们有不同的，因为 cube 我们可以说切成小块小块，可是呢， dice 我们可以说切成丁。Oh, oh, that's even smaller than cube. So, 同学大概这样去记就是很接近了。那另外呢，讲到说 dice 的另外一个意思就是骰子啊，那个掷骰子的动作，对哈。但是呢，我们掷的那个骰子本身就叫做 cube。所以呢，这个刚好又是这个地方可以大家记下来的。You can also help yourself to remember cube and dice. Ice cube. There are there are no small small. 不可能小到像冰冰这样。比较大 ，so that's the way to remember the two in English. 嗯，很好的方法，同学可以记下来。Okay, let's go ahead. Slice, slice. 片状。Dad cut the apple into slices because they are smaller and easier to eat than a whole apple. 爸爸把苹果会切成一片一片，因为这样吃比吃一整颗苹果来得容易。Pot, pot. 锅子 A pot is a kitchen utensil that is large, deep, round, and has two handles used mainly for boiling water. 锅子呢是一种又大又深又圆的，有两个手把的厨具。它主要呢通常是用来煮水。Pepper, pepper. 胡椒。A hot, spicy seasoning is pepper, which can be white, black, or red, and is often found on Western dining tables. 胡椒有白的、黑的或红的，是辛辣的香料，常常呢会在西餐的桌上见到。Dump, dump. Mom dumped out everything in her pocketbook in order to find her car keys. 妈妈为了找她的车钥匙，把所有东西都从皮夹中掏出来。Frying pan. Frying pan. 炒菜锅。A frying pan is a kitchen utensil that is round. 
shallow, and has one handle, used mainly for frying. 炒菜锅是一种又圆又浅，而且有一个把手的厨具，主要呢用来炒菜。Flame, flame. 火焰。When cooking, always be careful of the flame, or you could get burned. 煮菜的时候呢，永远都要小心炉子上的火焰，否则你可能会烫伤。Low, low. 小 Dad puts the flame under the kettle on high to make coffee, but he puts it on low to fry food. 爸爸煮水煮咖啡的时候会开大火，但炒菜的时候会开小火 Stir, stir. 搅拌 After adding cream and sugar to her coffee, Anita stirred the mixture with a spoon. Anita 搅了搅加入糖和奶精的咖啡 Every now and then. Every now and then. 偶尔 It doesn't rain much here in summer, but every now and then it really pours. 这里的夏天不常下雨，但偶尔也会有时候会下超大雨。Burn, burn. 烧焦。Simon forgot to add oil in the frying pan, so he burned his eggs. Simon 忘记在炒菜锅里加点油，所以他把蛋烧焦了。In the meantime. In the meantime, 在此的同时 I'll clean the bathroom. In the meantime, you can wash the dishes. 我会来清浴室。那么在此的同时，你可以去洗碗。Garlic, garlic, 大蒜 A common ingredient in Chinese cooking is garlic. Which has both a strong smell and taste. 大蒜有很重的气味和味道，是中国菜里常见的食材。That brings us to the end of our long vocabulary list. So let's take a break. 我们休息一下，马上回来。Now we're ready for part four. This is our friendly tip and extra serving since we've been talking about food. And so we're going to give you plenty of additional vocabulary, both for things in the kitchen and how to prepare food. 嗯，所以我们这个礼拜的这个作业部里头，同学们要注意里头有很多准备食物的过程，还有准备食物跟烹饪的工具，这些英文单词都很有用。那么大家可以好好的把它们记下来。And now we're ready for part five quiz. For this lesson, we have another closed dialogue for you. Uh, we have Paul and Karen in their kitchen getting ready to prepare a meal. 好，我们今天要来做的这个刻漏字的对话呢，是发生在 Paul 跟 Karen 两个在厨房里头准备餐的这个对话。Can you give me a hand making dinner, Paul? Sure, Karen. What do you want me to do? I'd like to make a stew. I've already cubed the blank. Well, here the blank will have to be beef because it's the only thing that could be cubed. That's my favorite meat. So, how can I help? I need you to blank these onions and potatoes. Okay. Now, what is it that you can do to onions and potatoes? Well, dice is the best answer. Boil is possible, but not with the next two sentences. Do you know how to do that? Of course, but I'll need a good blank to do that. And here, of course, we need knife, 
because a knife can dice. When you see these two blanks, you know what you need to put in them. There's one on the blank over there. Do you see it? Over where? Well, the only thing it could be on would be counter. Yes, it's right next to the microwave oven, right? That's right. I'm going to blank some water in this pot in the meantime. And of course, here we need the word boil. Uh, you've got the word water and pot. Put those together and it's got to be boil. Don't forget to add salt and pepper. Now who's telling whom how to cook? And there you have the five answers for today's closed dialogue. And now it's about time for us to watch for the second time today's dialogue. I'm hungry. You are always hungry. We can make dinner here or go out to eat. Honestly, I'm too tired to freshen up, dress up, and go out to eat. <laughs> we could always just send Dad to bring back some takeout food. Yuck. We've been eating too much takeout food recently. Is there any food in the fridge? Mmm. Uh, we've got some beef. Mm -hmm. oh, potatoes and carrots. And there's some onions, too. Sounds like all the ingredients we need to make a stew. Great idea. Um, do you have a recipe for stew, Mom? Huh. I don't need one. I've been making stew... For centuries. Since Grandma taught me. Oh, goody. Another family tradition. Mm. Sounds like Becky's going to give me a hand with dinner. And how about you, Ed? Um, I'll help out with the cleaning up after dinner. I can't even boil water. That's true. Well, Becky, let's get at it. Okay, Becky, these are all the ingredients we need for our stew. I cut the beef into cubes and diced the potatoes and onions. I cut the carrots into slices. It looks really good, Mom. I put the pot on the stove and it's ready to boil. Oh, I hope you remember the salt and pepper. Of course. Do I just dump all the ingredients in? Uh, we could, but it's better we just lightly fry the beef first. Get a spatula? and frying pan ready and add some oil to it, okay? You got it. I'm going to put the vegetables in now, Becky. And make sure you put the flame on low when making stew. Um, it's only five o'clock. And one hour of stewing will be enough to cook everything. I'll stir the pot every now and then, so nothing burns. In the meantime, why don't you make us some garlic bread? You can use the toaster oven. You are really good at making garlic bread. Thanks, Mom. I hope one day to be as good a cook as you. I'm still hungry. <laughs> you are always hungry. <laughs> well, we finish both today's lesson and Unit 5. Join us next week as we begin Unit 6 and the last three lessons of Book 1. Till then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.
隋唐演义》。